It doesn't matter what the system automatically detects or puts in or anything like that. And this is true of all correction systems, not just direct. What I would do is I would actually apply something like 100 or even 150 hertz to the ceiling speakers. Um, the, the detriment of that, obviously, would be that you'd be better off having low frequencies between 80 hertz and 150 hertz coming from the generally the same location. And actually, those speakers may be limited at a higher point than 150 hertz. So in testing that we've done, it's not uncommon to see the point at which you start to see compression start around 200 to 250 hertz. And applying uh, a 200 or 250 hertz high pass filter is way too high. It's, you're going you're gonna to localize the base that's supposed to go to the ceiling as coming from your subs. But 150 hertz is okay. You should be able to get away with that, especially because it's just for the tops. There isn't as much content going to your tops as is going to your LCRs, for instance. So I don't think you're going to find that to be problematic, but you're going to protect them against overloading, which you will hear, and that will be problematic.